Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come to you and just ask your blessing upon this meeting together, Lord. And Lord, just open our ears and uh, use me, Lord, to spread your message. And uh, these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, this is what the message I put together for us for today, okay? This is witchcraft in the Bible, scriptures on witchcraft and magic. Okay. I know, right? Okay. <laughs> this is for me. This is for Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> this, was pre- this was prepared special for you. So a short Thank order you. of preparation. So this will not be a lengthy message today. This is just a short message. I Thank you. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So <clears throat> worship and seeking of supernatural powers and other than God have been around since the beginning. Satan has used witchcraft to prevent people from finding holy spirituality in God alone. He uses witchcraft such as mediums, horoscopes, and games to entice people away from God and toward a power that gives self-enlightenment. The Bible speaks often of the consequences of following false idols and falsehood. So we're going to look at some scriptures here, okay? Uh, Verses so you'll better understand the importance of seeking God alone. Okay? So we have to quit anything that's other than the Bible. So, 1 Chronicles 10, 13. This is what it says. Saul died because he was unfaithful to the Lord. He did not keep the word of the Lord and even consulted a medium for guidance. So outside of the Bible, he's seeking other things. We only seek God through the Bible. Right. First Chronicles what? First Chronicles ten thirteen. Yeah, I think you um a screenshot and send that to me. Well you can get my notebook out. Yeah, you can write we, I got these on here so you can write them all down later. Okay. Thank you, Father. Second Chronicles thirty three six. He sacrificed his children in the fire in the valley of Ben Hinnom, practiced divination and witchcraft sought omens and consulted mediums and spiritists. He did much evil in the eyes of the Lord, arousing his anger. So what this is telling us, if you're seeking after things other than God and seeking these the Torah readings and stuff like that, you're going to make God mad. It's going to make God angry, okay? He does not want you to have no part of this. And I've heard it from my mom. Um, and then, you know, I told you about like my work. They mm-hmm. all believe it like that too, all stuff. The sun has told me that's bad. Um, and then my mom even wrote the face change, but it's I'll, I, well, you're I'll, hearing it from the Word of God now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Leviticus 19:31. Do not turn to mediums or seek out spirits, for you will be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. So this is God mm-hmm. speaking. Not another person. They're trying to. Yeah, the people have been trying to share this with you, but this is God telling you. This is His word. Okay, so stay away from all this. Leviticus twenty six. I will set my face against anyone who turns to mediums and spirits to prostitute themselves by following them. I will cut them off from their people. Leviticus twenty twenty seven. A man or a woman who is a medium or spirits, a spiritist among you must be put to death. You are to stone them. Their blood will be on their own heads. Now again, understand this was Old Testament. All right, this is not New Testament. But we're, we're looking at the example. This God does not like anything to do with anything that is outside of him. No witchcraft, nothing. No, any of this Ouija boards, none of that. We can't have nothing to do with any part of that, okay? Revelation 21 8. But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters, all are liars. They will.
will be consigned to the fiery lake and burning sulfur. This is the second death. So what we must understand is anybody that practices this, anybody that teaches witchcraft, anything like that, they're going to burn forever in hell. You cannot follow any of that, okay? Stay away from it. That's exactly what I want you to understand. It's not me telling you this. This is God's word. You got to find. You you can't be involved in this. It can't because it's bad. Galatians five nineteen through twenty one. The acts of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity, and debauchery, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, uh, fractions, uh, I mean, dissensions, fractions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. Everything that we do must be holy before God Almighty because we're in the very last days. Yeah. All right? This is now we're into Acts 19, 17 through 20. And this, the book of Acts is all about the early church. But when this became known to the Jews and Greeks living in Ephesus, they were all seized with fear and the name of the Lord Jesus was held in high honor. Many of those who believed now came openly and confessed what they had done. A number who had practiced sorcery brought their scrolls together and burned them publicly. When they calculated the values of the scrolls, the total came to 50,000 I can't pronounce this, I'm sorry. Uh, Dramacus. Uh, that it was the money they used back then. I do not. I didn't calculate how much that would be worth today, but I would be thinking probably in the thousands of dollars. I mean, if not a lot more. We'll have, I'll have to calculate later. But, uh, but in this way, the word of the Lord spread widely, widely, and grew in power. So even those people back then, when they realized the true teaching. They went and got rid of all their books on witchcraft. They burned them publicly. We, you can't have nothing to do with this, okay? It's pure evil. Yeah, yeah. Isaiah 8, 19 through 22. I mean, it's amazing to, to understand how many scriptures in the Bible tell us to have nothing to do with any form of witchcraft, sorcery, Torah reading, any of that, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's a jealous God. That's exactly right. When someone tells you to consult mediums and spiritists who whisper and mutter, should not a people inquire of their God? Why consult the dead on behalf of the living? Consult God's instructions and the testimony of warning. If anyone does not speak according to this word, they have no light of dawn. Distressed and hungry, they will roam through the land. When they are famished, they will become enraged, and looking upward will curse their king and their God. Then they will look toward the earth and see only distress and darkness and fearful gloom, and they will be thrust into utter darkness. So we have to protect ourselves against everything. Again, Ephesians 6 tells us we've got to put on the full armor of God. All right? So you've got to stay in the Bible, studying the Word of God, and learn its teachings, all right? He helped me um, with me, like, I can find, if you can, like, I'm in the scriptures, I can get into it. Okay. But, like, to open it, I guess I would have to audio book it and then let it play. Whatever yeah. works, get yeah. into the book, okay? Yeah. Acts 8, 9, and 13. Now, for some time, a man named Simon had practiced sorcery in the city and amazed all the people in Samaria. He boasted that he was someone great, and all the people, both high and low, gave him their attention and exclaimed, This man is rightly called the great power of God. 
They followed him because he had amazed them for a long time with his sorcery. So we got to be careful. These people out there, they want to suck you in with their sorcery, okay? But when they believed Philip as he proclaimed the good news of the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. Simon himself believed and was baptized, and he followed Philip everywhere, astonished by the great signs and miracles he saw. Again.
Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you who are double-minded. So today is the day that you need to be on your knees praying to Jesus Christ and saying, repent, turn to him in every aspect of your life, okay? That's got to do it. And do it, you know, I'd say, and, and reject all these evil spirits and evil things. Get rid of it because they will consume you. Any little <coughs> idol stuff, these little Buddha idols, all that stuff, those are pure evil, okay? Have nothing to do with any kind of this. You know, you have to purge your house of all evil spiritual things. Uh, I just had an episode. And I got a full head now, you know? So, but uh, that, that's all I got for us for today. We're here at uh, Santa Rosa Beach here on family vacation. Yep. And uh, like I say, uh, I hope this touched your heart and everybody. <laughs> and anybody and was like, oh, I'm going to cry all the way I cried in. And I'm just like, I'm surrounded by like demonic people. It's just toxic. I tell him, I, cry, I can talk, I cry, I tell him, I, I'm in solitude confinement for 10 hours. They don't talk. They're always mad. I'm happy. I have a couple customers. They're doing their own thing. Next thing you know, stuff starts falling. They're bumping into stuff. They be be beat all the time. Yeah, it's not a good and environment. Cousin, yeah, and the owner, she's toxic too. Yeah. And he has a friend that has a mutual friend through another friend that said. And I want you to be about. aware too. This here, all right. That that's why I don't know who she's talking. Remember about. Remember Candy that warned me oh, about yeah, her candy, yeah. before I even started oh. working there. Oh yeah. It is. Now, I want you to be aware of this. I know that you're doing this vaping and stuff and all these different things that come from that store. I don't know what's in it. I don't know. All right? Yeah, I don't know, but it could be having ill effects on you. Yeah. All right? That stuff can't be wholesome and holy. All right? I don't I don't know, but uh, be careful. Be You better research what's in that stuff and what's in those products. I have no idea. For, well, I can for sure tell you that that store, you can go in there. Um, it's called a certificate of analysis, and we have COAs on everything, every single product in that store. Every single product in that store is clean. If it's okay. not clean, well, they say, don't sell it. Okay. Well, I just don't know. You know, yeah. I know some, that some of that stuff is marijuana and, and right, hallucinogens right. and stuff like that. I'm yeah, sure. that end. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's so. when you start mixing different right. cannabinoids so. is when it can. Okay, well, I don't know. I'm not familiar with those products, enough, yeah, but yeah. I know you're working in that type of store, yeah. in that environment. People probably come in smoking it, yeah. and you probably take it in. Take it in. You, just from the fumes, like around cigarette smoke, anything, you know. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay? Yes, yes. So yeah, I want you to be aware of that. Be careful, all right? Yeah. Okay? Like I say, so let us close in prayer. Sure. <clears throat> Lord God, we just thank you so much for this message that you gave me to share with the family, Lord, and uh, Lord, we just pray that you use your words and touch each and every one here today, that we will follow you in everything that we do, 100%, Lord, we surrender our lives to you, this we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you, guys. <laughs> I love you, Daddy. <laughs> I'm going to take a shower, you stupid. <laughs>